Hello, guys. This is Tatiana Bedoya and Tony Estigoy, your real estate professionals in the Sacramento region. Today, we are tackling the affordability challenges of buying a home in our area. And we'll also share with you insights and explore the diverse options available to make your dream home a reality. Let's dive in. So the biggest challenge with affordability right now is interest rates. And we can buy down interest rates with money, whether it comes the money comes from the borrower or whether we're able to negotiate it from the seller. Using that money to buy down the interest rate is what's helping with affordability right now. Rodney Anderson, a loan officer at Big Valley Mortgage. Because interest rates are higher, we're looking at ways to approach the seller. Instead of just reducing the price on the home, which used to be really common, we're seeing now that you can get a much bigger benefit as a borrower by asking for seller credits that I can use to buy down your rate versus just asking the seller for five or 10 or $15,000 less in the price of the home. The, the dollar amount that it works out for you monthly would be better served with a seller credit than a lower price on the home. For example, I have a borrower that was qualified for 510,000, but they needed to, they were out shopping and found a home that was higher than that. And the only way we could get them qualified for more house was to buy their interest rate down. But what worked for them was they had 10,000 in closing costs we, we upped it to 15,000, but it took their buying power from 510 all the way to 545 with the same monthly payment because the interest rate buy down caused the payment to stay the same, but the price range went up because we were able to get a lower rate. Lots of different ways to structure a loan and based on that borrower's needs. So just simply taking information on an application, looking at their credit, pre-approving them for a certain amount, is kind of a disservice in this market right now. We need to go deeper into it and figure out how we can help the borrower get more buying power, but yet not increase their monthly payment because the monthly payments right now are what's most important.